Hey, hey, hey. Hey, y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, I hope that y'all are doing well. I'm actually, I'm wiping my eye now. I'm actually out walking. <laughs> I'm going in my eye. But I'm actually out walking. Um, getting some exercise this morning. Do I have to cut off this? I'm trying to see if I need to cut off this Wi Fi. That's why I'm going to connect with my thing and mess it up. I'll cut it off. <laughs> but like I said, I'm out walking. Like I said, I hope y'all are doing well. It's, um, 6.51 here in the morning, so <laughs> I'm actually out walking just trying to get some exercise, but I want to bring this video on to y'all this morning just to let y'all know that I have had a fear of drowning for years since I've had a drown. I had, actually, I had a drowning experience probably about 10, 15 years ago. I don't know how many years ago, about, about 10, 15 years ago at this water park. Um, I was, of course, I, I never could swim. I'm, all my little cousins could swim and that kind of thing, but I never could. Um... But I still want to get out there and do stuff anyway and enjoy the little time at the water park and stuff like that. So I was trying, I wanted to get on this attire, um, I don't know what the heck it's called, like a tar tube thing that you, that you like sit on and it takes you down like this little path of water and that kind of thing. The the, the lady that I, that was, of course, over that at, at the water park, oh, you'll be fine. It'll dump you in three feet of water. You'll be fine. All this kind of stuff. Um, so of course when I got on the thing, I was like, okay, I can get on the thing. And it was fun when I first started, <laughs> put it that way. But then when I started going down the dog tire thing or the little uh, water pathway, the thing started going so fast and it flew me off into the water at the end. And I fell on my hands and knees inside the water and sucked in all this water. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to die. <laughs> like I said, that was just a horrible, ex a horrible drowning experience, I guess you would say. Um, the only thing I remember was standing up and I saw folks waving for the lifeguard and trying to get his attention to come help me. And I'm just like, this is just the craziest thing. <laughs> we was actually there for my cousin, my, my, for my little cousin's birthday, actually. But I'm like, this is just the craziest thing. So I'm, <laughs> so I'm like, okay. And I was told I couldn't go to sleep after the water came up and that kind of thing. I think it was five hours or two hours or whatever it was, a few hours. And I was constantly coughing up the water and it was just, just ridiculous, y'all. And like I said, that was the scariest experience I've ever had in water. I put it that way. I was still able to, of course, get in water after that, of course, to play in the water, to, like, wave my little hands. I'm like, do, like, do stuff in the water. I, mean, I'm, I still would get in the water. I got in the ocean after that, that kind of thing as well. I wasn't afraid of that. I was just afraid of getting too deep into the water and drowning again. So I'm just like, oh, my God, I'm having some kind of experience where I fell or something like that in the water where I drowned again. So like I said, definitely, I'm getting over my fear of drowning. I guess I'll put it that way. And like I said, I know every, folks have a lot of fears. And like I said, this is one of the ones that I've had for years. Never being able to swim, that kind of thing until now. <laughs> I've taken actually two swimming classes in the past. Still couldn't float. Still couldn't put my head up under the water. I was still, still scared to do that. So of course, I guess I really just didn't, well, I took the class, like I said, but I guess it really didn't register, I guess, back then, I guess, for those two classes. Um, even though the instructors did, did definitely tried and tried and tried, I still couldn't get the floating down. I couldn't get, um, like I said, my face in the water to even try to, excuse me, get, get some swim moves going, anything. So, like, that's all right. So, and I've always, geez, excuse me, I've always promised myself that I was going to, of course, um, swim like go and see like the coral reefs because i've always wanted to go to australia and see, and see the dog on coral reefs and stuff like that with the pretty fish and the pretty flop well not flowers i guess plants up in the water i wanted i wanted to have like those little water sports like those little i don't know what they're called y'all those little bikes that you get on like in the water i never could do that of course i was scared i was gonna fall off and drown so so i'm like this has got to stop so so and i promised myself that was last year actually the next trip that I went on, I was gonna learn how to swim so so that I can get into the ocean water. I guess I put it that way. And we're actually going on a trip um, this um, th this fall actually to the Caribbean. And so I'm like, okay, I gotta learn how to swim. <laughs> the time has come. I guess I put it that way. I was going to take a swimming class here, but my partner said well, he he knows how to swim, so he said that he just teach me and that kind of thing, which he did yesterday. But well, was teaching me some things yesterday. I put it that way. So. Um, we just started our first little lesson here in the pool was yesterday and I'm so like I said I'm, so, I'm definitely so proud of myself y'all for the first time in water I guess I put it that way besides in the shower or something like that I was able to put my head up on the well mostly up on the water I think like the top of my head right here 
wasn't wet, but everything else, like, like I said, my face and all that kind of stuff was in the water. So like I said, I was greatly proud of myself yesterday. <laughs> it took me a little while, it took about an hour. Maybe, of course I had to get like used to the water again and because the water was so cold for one, but <laughs> had to get used to the water again, that kind of thing, but just like wailing around and moving my hands and he was showing me how to do the, I guess the swim moves, good morning. <laughs> The swim moves and that kind of thing. So, of course, just learning how to do that again yesterday. Um, since I hadn't been in the pool in several years, actually. We hadn't, well, no, because we actually had a pool at the Y when I was in St. Louis. So, I was in that pool. But, like, actually, like, learning how to do a swim move or do anything swim-wise in the water. And like I said, he, like, he let me know um, if I'm still with one, want to do the, see the coral reefs and do all these things. Because at first, I, I couldn't put my head in the water at all. I was scared. I was trying to go down and hold my nose and do all this stuff. Like, Lord, his daughter, of course, was supportive, was helping too. But like I said, definitely, that was just a fear of mine. Like I said, definitely, I've mostly gotten over that fear yesterday. So I know that was our first day, our first, I guess, hour of swimming, I guess you can say, our swim lesson yesterday. So, I, of course, there'll be more. So have more days coming. So I'm sure of that. So but like I said, I'm just greatly proud of myself this morning because I would never thought I would get to that point. And I just want to say to anybody out there, because I know a lot of folks that they may not have a fear of swimming, but there's lots of fears that people have. A fear of success, um, being alone, all types of things. I'm trying to get out of the way because the guys are working. <laughs> and like I said, definitely just know that you can push past any of those things. Yes, I didn't die yesterday. I, I was just fine. I'm just, as you see me on video today, I'm just fine. So, like I said, I, I was assuming that the, the worst, as we all assume, the worst when you're scared of stuff. You're scared to, to I guess, to actually take, um, take the time out to actually do something that you're scared of. And like I said, are, are, are they, um, in, I guess, put, brings fear to you, I guess they put it, same thing, that you're scared of. But like I said, definitely... Yes, I was very scared in the water yesterday, um, but like I said, I had to push past that fear because I know that me wanting to, to um, like I said, to, to, to see the coral reefs, I, ha I have to swim down to the coral reefs in order to see the thing. Um, so whenever I do go to Australia, I guess I put it that way, and I would have to, like I said, the water sports and that kind of thing, the scuba diving. Um, the first time, actually, I went to the Bahamas. <laughs> that was this, like, years ago. Um, trying to find I was go I was going to actually have like one of those what they call it we actually took a cruise so one of those excursions to actually um do the scuba diving the man was like lady if you can't swim you can't do anything in, in this water with with me at all so I'm like I can't do it because I assumed the equipment would like take you down and guide you he was like no you have to know how to swim in order to do any of those things so therefore I couldn't do that and like I said definitely I just I'm, nobody's telling me to learn how to swim anything this is like I said this is something that I've always wanted to do oh so that I can see the things that I've always wanted to see, up, I guess, in the ocean, I guess I put it that way. And, of course, be able to swim. And it looks I've always watched swimming on TV and stuff like with the Olympics and things like that. So it always looks great, great, very, very graceful. And like I said, definitely pushed myself to do it yesterday. So, and like I told him, I, I yeah, I'm scared, but it's still, I mean, I still want to see those coral reefs and do the water sports when we take our trip this fall. So I had to... Like I said, to get moving, we only got what I don't know. What is this? July? I mean June? Oh Lord, this is not July. This is May. <laughs> so I guess six months. I guess for our trip. I guess you six five or actually five months. So like I said, I had to get get a move on. I guess I put it that way. Like I said, that was something I promised myself. Scared or not, I still promised myself to do it and make sure I get it done. So. Like I said, I'm just bringing this message on to y'all this morning to let you know that any fear that you have, definitely know that you can push past it. I know now, of course, I knew back then too, but <laughs> with other fears I've had, but I still push past it anyway. This was the main one that I hadn't pushed past, actually, that I was um, still hesitant on doing, still scared to do, and all those types of things. But like I said, I did it yesterday. I did part of it yesterday, I guess about it that way. The main one was putting my head up under the water. Like I said, that definitely took a lot. It took about an hour, maybe. I don't know how long. Well, I guess, yeah, about an hour. We were actually out there. Maybe an hour and a half. I'm an hour and a half at the most at the pool. Um, but like I said, it took me a little while, but I still got it. <laughs> like I said, I didn't die in the water at all, that kind of thing, as you see me on video this morning. So, <laughs> like I said, it was definitely fine. 
just a fear that I had for years, at least for me, as I'm thinking about it now, really was for no reason. I ain't gonna say it's one, one for any reason, but um, it just wasn't necessary for me to have a fear like that for all these years without even trying uh, for the third time to even learn how to swim. I guess I put it that way. And like I said, I know I've always wanted to see all these things in the water for years and years and years, but I stopped myself from doing that because I was so scared of, I'm gonna drown again, or I'm going. this is gonna happen, I'm gonna fall, or and none of those things happened yesterday at all. And actually, since I've had that drowning experience, nothing like that has happened since then, <laughs> I guess I put it that way either. So like I said, I know the fear of my mind was just all made up is what I'm telling y'all today and the fear that you may have too for anybody that's, that, that, that this message is reaching. Like I said, most of the fears that we have are just in our minds. Overthinking. I am one that overthinks with, with certain things, but this I definitely was. All the things that could happen hadn't even happened yet. Hadn't even gotten in the water yet. And I'm sitting up for overthinking and this is going to happen, this can happen, this is gonna, all these kind of things. I'm like, it hasn't even happened yet. <laughs> Hasn't even happened since then. Not been in the water since then. Uh oh, it's a car coming. <laughs> but like I said, definitely just know that the fears that you have, whether it's a fear of success, trying to create that business, trying to have a family, trying to don't want to be um, single or whatever it is, just let, just know that it's all on your mind, y'all. Like I said, I knew that to a certain extent. Um, realized that more and more yesterday that it was just all in my head. And it's a social, I'm, I'm, I'm a social worker, been social worker 24 years this month, actually. Um, and I'm a life coach as well. Like I said, definitely just knowing that, of course, I go through the same things I go through as well when it comes to fears for anybody. Anybody has fears of anything. A lot of folks have fear of death or fear of public speaking or all those types of things as well. I mean, we have fears of all kinds of stuff. And like I said, just, just, just because I'm a social worker or coach or have a small business or whatever it is does not mean that I don't go through the same kind of fears that, that anybody else would go through or similar process or whatever it is we all have fears of things the main oh, another car <laughs> the main thing I like I said I'm, I'm, I'm speaking about this morning is yes I had that fear yes I did a very a very real fear to me I'm scared of bees too, but, it's just, but this woman was, was, was way more worse than the bees. Like I said, I can get in the water and that kind of thing and flail around do all this stuff. I was scared that I was going to fall in the water, drown again. That was horrible. Not being able to swim and, I mean, not being able to swim, not being able to breathe and having all this water in your lungs. That is a horrible feeling. I just knew I was going to die that day. I'm just like, oh my God. Like I said, all I saw was the folks waving flag the lifeguard and hollering and yelling at him to come help me and people running over to me. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm thinking I was going to die right then and there at my cousin's birthday party at, at the water park. Like I said, that it took me from, that was probably, I was probably like in my 20s. I, well, I guess it was more than 15, because I'm 46, so I guess that's probably about 20 years ago then. About 15, 20 years ago, if that's the case, actually. Because it was in my 20s. And it's taken me that long to even want to attempt to learn how to swim again. To even want to attempt to, of course, put my face in the water again. That was the only time I ever had that happen, actually. The only time, and I'm sure that's going to be the last time, I'm sure of that. But like I said, it took me 20, or 15, 20 years just for me to get to this point today, or yesterday, that I was at in, in the pool. Being able to put my face in the water and not being, I was scared, yes, I still did it anyway. Because my, good morning. Good morning. Because the goal I had for wanting to, like I said, see those coral reefs or to be on those water sports, like those water toys and do all this stuff, it outweighs the fear that I have. And that's why, I'm, like I said, that's what I'm telling y'all this morning. I don't care what fear you have. You can, you, you can always overcome that. Especially if you're, at least for me, in my situation, in my story, my journey, my, my, my why I want to learn how to swim is way bigger than the fear that I have. Just like um, me wanting to be successful, um, whatever my ideas of success is, didn't know how to start a business. I, I did, grew up, had no idea. Well, I didn't think that I could start any kind of business growing up. Nobody I knew had a business except for selling drugs. That was it because I did that too for a little bit. Other than that, that was the only business I knew. I guess I put it that way, only business I had been around. 
as a teenager growing up as a kid that's all I, not all I saw but people of course had jobs and stuff like that that was about it and like I said I had to realize and understand as I got of course going through well not high school but in college seeing all these kids talking about their, their parents have businesses and they weren't of course they're all white but and, and, and other races but just talking about how their parents had businesses and None of them look like me, so I'm like, okay, maybe I can't get a business because they have money and they can do all these things. And like I said, that was one of the fears that I had too, that I'm, of course, I'm just going to be working my job all my life and can't never start a business, can't do anything, all this kind of stuff. And like I said, it wasn't until, um, after I, actually after college, I guess, it was after I was out of college, but um, started selling cakes and cookies, I mean, stuff like that back in the day, trying to see what I can do, I guess I'd say that. And like I said, over the years, I've learned that I can have a business. I can, of course, become successful. And like I said, it wasn't just for those other folks instead of me. It was for me as well. And like I said, that was something that, that, that put fear in me. I guess I put it that way as well. I was never going to be successful as these people. I, they all have this, and I can't even start a business, or why can't I do this? I was holding my own stuff back. And that's why I'm here to tell y'all this morning, with, with any fear that you have, I don't care what the fear is, if it's public speaking, whatever it is, the swimming, the fear of success, whatever it is, you all you hold yourself back. Like I said, that was something that I had to realize too, especially yesterday <laughs> with the swimming, that I was holding myself back all these years, scared that I was going to drown again when I did not drown yesterday. Nothing even happened, except for me just learning how to, of course, do like some swim moves and learning how to be... Um, well, he said I wasn't relaxed in the water, so I guess be a lot more relaxed in the water because I still can't float yet, so he's going to teach me that soon too. But, but like I said, just, just trying to be more relaxed in the water and putting my face in the water for the first time and not feeling like I was going to drown and just die right then, and, right then and there. Like he said, he got my back. He was standing there. He was making sure I was safe. Everything was fine. But like I said, that was something for, what, 15, 20 years? Just scared to death. <laughs> yes, I can go to the park. Yes, I can get in the water, yes, I can do all these things, but when it came to that going to like the deep side or anything above three, three maybe four feet, I wasn't doing anything like that at all. <laughs> yes, I'll get like the little, um, what do they call, noodles and the little floaties and stuff like that. I still couldn't float, so it really would make a difference <laughs> if I really had to stuff on it in my mind. I guess I'd say that. It may have made a difference, I don't, I don't know. But for me, I couldn't float, so it didn't make a difference at all. It was just something to play with in the water. That's the most comfortable list I've ever gotten, except for, like I said yesterday, I was very scared. But I still did it anyway. I still took the jump, because I know my, like I said, my why is deeper and, and is bigger than the fear that I have of not being able to swim and, 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 and drowning again. I want to see more of this world than, than just the streets and the whatever else, I guess, like the beach and playing on the sand and playing, like I guess, like the first feet or two of water. I want to see more than that. And I'm sure if you're one out there that's listening to my voice and that this message is touching, if you have a fear of speaking, public speaking, I'm sure you want, if you want to turn that into a career or, or you love speaking, you always have something to say. Or, we have got to get over these fears, y'all. The fears are usually all in our head, y'all. Like I said, I've always known that, but yesterday just learning in the pool, listening to what he was saying and realizing what I had been doing for these last 15, 20 years, but being scared to swim, I did that to myself. Nobody else did it to me. <laughs> there was a fear, like I said, that nothing happened. And that's one thing I realized. Uh, one thing, once, once you, of course, push past all those things, nothing's going to happen. You're still going to be on this earth. Nothing's going to happen. Just going to be something that you overcame. That's all. And something that you can, of course, celebrate too. From, I guess overcoming. Like I said, nothing happened. And usually when we have fears, that's our, our body, our, our, I guess our bodies just trying to, in our brains and our minds and our hearts just, just trying to keep us safe. Because we know that we had a bad experience with that in the past. That's all that comes from. Your, the experience that you've had and your body trying to keep you safe. And your mind trying to keep you safe. But we got to understand that, oh, these little bugs are fighting my face. <laughs> Lord, okay, these little bugs keep flying in my face, 
But like I said, we got to understand that. Like I said, that's all in our minds, y'all. Our thoughts, are like, like I said before, our thoughts are powerful. Very, very powerful. And if that's all you can think about, the same thing I did was that I'm going to drown. I'm going to drown. I'm never going to learn how to swim. I keep telling myself that. I had to stop. I had to realize and stop yesterday. So I kept saying, I can't do this. I can't do this. When I kept telling myself I couldn't do this. Of course, I can't do it if I keep telling myself this. I'm still putting fear inside my, my, my whole entire being by me telling myself I can't do something. And like I said, that was something I realized yesterday. I'm like, I can't keep telling myself this. So I stopped saying that to myself and out loud. I stopped saying that I'm scared of this. Well, I think I did still keep saying that a little bit. I kind of slacked down on it, but but I was like, okay, I got to get in this water and be scared or not. But like I said, I had to stop telling myself these things. A lot of times when we have all these fears or scared, scared to do something or speak or whatever it is, that's what it is. We're telling ourselves the negative instead of the positive. I had to start going to my mind. I can do this. I can, get, I can put my face in this water. I can learn how to swim. That's my mindset now. Well, as of yesterday, I guess yet last night, that's my mindset now. It wasn't before. It was my, before it was, I'm scared. I'm never going to learn how to swim. It's too hard. I'm going to drown again. That was, that was all my thoughts. And that was all on me. Overthinking stuff. And those things had not even happened anymore since the first experience that I had. But again, I'm trying to keep myself safe. Unknowingly, I guess I put it that way. <laughs> my mind, heart, and soul is just trying to keep me safe. So I won't have that kind of experience again. Like I said, because of that experience, and like I said, I had to push myself past that point. And you can do the same thing too. There's no reason why you can't. I'm living proof that it can't happen. Of course, I put it that way. I'm sure you've seen others that it happened to as well. Let's be uh -oh, I'm trying to see where this car going. And like I said, I'm sure you know others that has have fears of all types of stuff, but they pushed past and they did the stuff anyway. Like I'm telling you again, you can push past anything. It does not matter. The only fear is the fear that you're telling yourself and feeding yourself every day, all day long. You can't do something. I'm scared to do this. That's all the fear is. I'm, I'm going to get nervous. I'm going to be um, have jitters or I'm going to throw up. I feel like I'm just sick or whatever, whatever it is. I can't get on that stage. I'm scared to go. That's what you're telling yourself. Start telling yourself the opposite. Start telling yourself that you can do those things. And start doing them little by little. That's what I did yesterday. Doing it little by little. You know, I'm not a pro <laughs> thus far. The only thing I can do is get in the water, feel a little bit more comfortable and put my face down in the water. That's that, that, that I got to yesterday. Take it inch by inch. Take it step by step. That's what I'm doing. And like I said, that's what I'm telling you all, too. The same kind of thing. You see me telling you this. And like I said, I couldn't be filming yesterday. My phone would be messed up. and I'd be like, because, because, of course, I, I was like in the water. But, like I said, I'll try to see if his daughter may be able to. I don't know. But the, well, the next time we go, I'll see if she can film for me. Just so I can see, like like I said, some, some of the progress I'm making and that kind of thing as well. Like I said, I had to stop telling myself that I can't swim and I'm scared I'm going to drown. And this is going to happen. That's going to happen. That was all in my mind, y'all. Like I said, this is my story, my journey. So I know I may not have the same exact story as, as one of you. But just know that you can push past your fears and do anything that you want to do. You just have to want to do it. And like I said, for me, my why I wanted to learn how to swim is way bigger than the fear. That's why I got myself in that water and went ahead and put my face in the water and trying to learn how to, put, like I said, get comfortable doing that. The next time I go, of course, we'll be doing the same thing, I'm sure. Probably a little bit, a little bit more. We'll, we'll see. But like I said, definitely, I'll be, I'm sure I'll be doing the same thing just to learn and get more comfortable in the water until I'm 100% comfortable to move on to something else. That's how it goes when you have fears and when you're, when you're trying to learn something new that you didn't think that, that you could even learn or do before. That's how it's always going to be. It's going to be a fear like that, or scared of you doing something, or feeling that you can't do whatever it is, but you can do it. And like I said, that's something that I had to learn. I learned that years ago, but of course, going through that swimming experience yesterday and just realizing how all this stuff was just made up in my mind, I'm like, I felt like so silly yesterday. I'm like, this is crazy. I, even though I was proud of myself, yes, very, very proud of myself. But I still felt silly because I'm like, this has been something that I've been telling myself all these years and it has not happened since then. 
and it wasn't going to happen again. It was just me telling myself that I can't do this, I can't swim, I'm scared of this, I'm going to drown again. That was, just, that was me doing all those things. There was nobody else. Many of folks said, just get back in the water, just go ahead and try over the years. I never did. Like, they don't know what they're talking about. They, they haven't had the experience I had. Nobody's probably going to have this, the same exact experience you had or, or I had. But what I know now is that I can overcome that fear, telling myself that I can do these things and go ahead and take another, I guess, taking that leap. To go ahead and put my face in the water, go ahead and get back in the water until it felt comfortable. And like I said, that was definitely something that, like I said, the fears that we have would definitely hold us back for years. They, they got, I've seen folks die with, with fears and regrets of not learning how to do, I guess, how to, how, how to do certain things. I work with clients who, for the past, what, it'd be seven, I guess seven, almost seven years, I've been working with clients who are disabled, elderly, sick, and that kind of thing. I cannot tell you how many times they have told me, not, not every single one of them, but a lot of them, at least half of them have told me that they are, they regret that, that they hadn't started that business, or they regret that they haven't, of course, learned how to swim too, or they regret that they didn't talk to that girl that they wanted to marry or whatever it was, or that boy that they wanted to get with, or a man, I guess I should say. <clears throat> Or they regret that they never had those kids. Or they regret that they never um, took the time out to actually resolve or, or, or can't say resolve, what's the word? Make right a, a relationship that they messed up. I cannot tell you how many folks have told me about the regrets when I'm doing their assessments or was doing their assessments in the past. And even now when I'm doing support groups, I cannot tell you how many folks that tell me that now I'm sick, I can't do this, now I wish I would have done these things back when I was younger, traveled and did all this stuff. I cannot tell you how many, that comes up at, at every support group that I hold and that I facilitate, every time. And like I said, I cannot tell you how, how many times I, I've heard stories like that a lot. And like I said, for me, that, 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 that has put in my head for the last several years, like I said, at least almost seven years, that whatever I need to do, I need to go ahead and do it. I guess I put it that way, scared or not. And like I said, the swimming part, it took me a little while to get to this part, but, and that's okay. I, I finally got to it. That's okay. I don't care if it took me 10 more years. I'll finally get to that point. Now, now I'm to that point. I guess I put it that way. Now I can go ahead and start living out the, the goal that I wanted to do as far as learning actually how to swim. And being comfortable in the water, can float and do all this stuff and do the water sports and go dive and see the coral reefs and scuba dive and do all this stuff. Now I can once, well, not today, but I still got to learn how to do the, the basic stuff. But, but once I go on this trip, I should be able to swim in the ocean this time. I should be able to. I'm pretty sure. That's what, five months from now. I should be able to, five, almost like five and a half months. So I should be able to do that by October. I'm sure of that. Because like I said, I'm going to push myself to do it. And everything that I do, I always push myself to do it, regardless of how scared I am. There's a bee by me. I keep seeing a bee or something. It's a fly. Lord have mercy. Lord, get away from me. <laughs> Jesus. But like I said, just know that hope, I hope through my story and through my journey that you all are able to see that I'm, I'm pushing past my fears as well. Yes, I'm a social worker. Yes, I'm a coach. And yes, that's why I talk about all kinds of stuff, mindset, business, whatever it is on here. But I have fears just like you, and I have to push past these fears too. And like I said, that's okay. I'm 46 years old, learning how to swim, and that's okay. It's something that I've always wanted to learn, and that's okay. Like I said, I had that experience and held myself back for all these years, but that's okay. I'm learning it now. That's what matters. And the same thing with you. Whenever you start pushing past whatever your fear is, no matter how old you are, no matter what situation you're in, it does not matter. You're learning how to do it at that time. Just know that. It's okay. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get my butt off here. So I know I got to get ready to finish getting ready, get, get my stuff ready for work this morning. But like I said, I just want to come on with this video this morning just to let you know that the fear that you have about you can't, do, you can't get on stage and speak or you're scared to go talk to this woman or man that you like or whatever it is. You're scared to swim or you're scared to start that business, whatever it is. Just know that you can do those things. It's all in your head, y'all. You may not understand until you get to that point where you're actually pushing through your fear. But like I said, it's all in your head. That's, that's one thing that I realized, that it was all in my head, me, the mindset. That's why I know I talk about the mindset a lot. And like I said, this is my aha moment with my own mindset, I guess I put it that way as well, with, with, with this learning how to swim. And just finalizing some of the things that I've, of course, been talking about in, uh, as far as, like I said, mindset, the thoughts, thinking, all those types of things, and the stuff that we tell ourselves. Like I said, this just solidifies for me that I've been right I, I, which I know I've been right anyway, but, but like I said, definitely I'm seeing this again firsthand with this particular situation. 
because I've had other situations. Of course, I've had a lot of situations where I had to push past the fear, and I'll tell y'all more about those as time go on. But, but like I said, definitely this has been something that that's, that that that's been a long time in the making. And before I get off here, make sure that y'all, of course, are liking my page and follow me as well to follow the story and that kind of thing too. Make sure that y'all are following. So, like I said, definitely, um, I'm going to go ahead and get my butt off here. Like I said, I want to say thank you for. Um, I need to call out some names here. I'm trying to see if I can see these things on this on this camera. Maria Rodriguez, De Hernandez, Arlene, um, Sonia Allen, nine three one, Stephanie, Jerry B. Is it Jerry Brown? Margaret Boozer or Bozer, two four three, Nikita Daniels, Carolyn Johnson, three two six, Money K S D. I guess Yo Y O, Sylvia Ryan, Tisha, um, T J and T T at Y T. I think it says. Um, like I said, thank y'all for tuning in. Like I said, definitely make sure that y'all go back. Like I said, follow my page so you, so you all can follow the story here and that kind of thing as well. This isn't the only thing I talk about, of course, is swimming, learning how to swim. But like I said, me being a social worker coach, um, like I said, I talk about a whole lot of things dealing with life, um, mindset, business, relationships, and stuff like that. So, so like I said, definitely come, come, come follow me. Uh, my main thing is being becoming who you are, being the person that you know that you can be. And like I said, of course, pushing past these fears in order to do that. So so like I said, I'm modeling these things to you firsthand, letting you know my story, what's going on, telling you what's happening so that you can, of course, take the reins of your own life and go ahead and become that person that you want to be as well. So so like I said, with that, y'all, take care. I'll talk to y'all later. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.